The way we make things is changing, radically. A new set of ideas and trends have emerged and combined to create a new industrial revolution, one led by people and human innovation. They're using ideas like collaborative design teams and leaner, more customizable manufacturing. Once upon a time, a factory made one thing. Now, a factory can make almost as many things as there are people to imagine them. From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. The city of Johannesburg last week awarded 5 million rand in cash and support to the top three winners of its inaugural Hack Josie Challenge. Sashni Moodley tells us more. The Hack Josie Challenge, a competition for Johannesburg-based startup entrepreneurs, aims to foster skills, innovation and entrepreneurship in digital technology. The competition was launched in February of this year and last week culminated in a formal award ceremony where the top three winners were announced. First place was awarded to MoWallet for the Pop App Deals, a white-label digital marketing app that enables retail brands to offer incentives to customers to move products off the shelves of spaza shops in townships. The way in which it works, it allows the retail brands to deliver coupons in township spaza shops. So that will enable uh, customers in those new segments to enable and pay their coupons. Uh, we see uh, everyone benefiting from the application. So the retail brands, they will benefit by creating a new channel to distribute their coupons, increase sales, and also creating a customer database. Spaza shop owners, we see them benefiting by uh, having a loyal customers and also increasing sales. And the community at large, we see them benefiting by now being able to redeem coupons and vouchers in their backyard and they don't have to travel long distances anymore. And uh, what we expect to see is um, the NGOs, uh, municipalities, those who are already giving uh, food vouchers and parcels, they will now start using their the platform to distribute those. And uh, lastly, we believe that uh, we'll start to see uh, SMEs in the communities as well as um, um, other companies to start trading with each other. Imagine um, a hair saloon a hair stylist um, giving um, a customer who have paid 300 rand to do her hair to say, you know what, thank you for supporting my business. Here's a 20 rand voucher that you can go and spend in your nearest plaza shop. So this is all about improving a township economy. I think it's a great uh, opportunity and uh, to actually being in a top 10. We have learned a lot from a training, from the preparation and also the companies that have been involved in uh, preparing all this, sharing their ideas, uh, getting for us to be prepared and have something that will be potentially used in the um, uh, uh, city of Johannesburg area. MoWallet received 1 million rand for business development and the two runners-up each received 350,000 rand. The winners will also receive support in various forms with the aim of providing opportunities for them to market their ideas. Second place was awarded to Lazy Lizard for the Teachinator, an educational app that runs on mobile devices and that aligns to the South African school curriculum. The app allows learners to work through their schoolwork independently and allows parents to track the learners' progress. So there are a few components to this system. The primary of which is the administration website to which a parent or a teacher could go to sort of guide the children or to track their progress. And then there's the app that they would use to work, that the children would use to work through the content. Now the website and the app seamlessly integrate with each other and they all do this behind the scenes. You don't, there's no human intervention normally required to make this happen apart from if there's an intraday update and you know you want to force the application to go sync again. Um, but apart from that it's, it's a pretty seamless integration. So the simple thing is mom could sit at work and she could type out a few things on the app and the moment the child finishes school and has to start doing homework, whatever mom did at work is available immediately on the app on their side. What the app does is it has the curriculum content or it has whatever mom and dad loaded on there, whatever subject matter it is that the children need to learn. And it has some artificial intelligence and some gamification, you know, like nice shiny graphics, sounds, you know, very simple stuff for the moment, but gamification aspects. 
and it will use a combination of those things to allow the children to work through their schoolwork. In much the same way that a child, when he plays a game, doesn't have anybody instructing him how the game works, but he learns how the game works and the rules of the game as he goes along. I didn't realize that the need for my product was as well or as well defined as it is, or as big or as you know encompassing as it is, and that is something I wouldn't have gotten had I not taken part in Hack Chosen. Um, having to go through an entire process with with all the teams and obviously now the top ten teams was fantastic. It's second to none. It's something that I really enjoyed. Of course, it's a lot of hard work. I'm very proud. Meanwhile, third place was awarded to the Move the Stuff Quoting and Logistic Engine which provides free quotes and free move coordination to the public. Uh, our product is Move This Stuff. Um, what it is in a nutshell is an Uber for removals. If you know the Uber taxi service where you can request a uh, taxi to take you from one place to the other, we do the same but for removals. Uh, it's uh, real time, instant as well as long term. So you can book a uh, move a month ahead or six months ahead or you can request transport right now to move something for you. The process to, to get on is quite straightforward. You open our uh, website, uh, movethisstuff.com. Uh, if you're on social media, let's say you use Twitter, you just click on the sign in with Twitter button and it's instant, you're in. Same thing with uh, Facebook. If you want to sign in with your email address, we ask for your email address and phone number to pre-validate you in case you make a uh, coach request to suppliers and then it's instant access, and it's also free. Um, chuffed and surprised, because there, there are a lot of very good ideas. Uh, I have to be honest, uh, when we started out, I was so sure we had the most amazing products, but as we went through the process, you could see that um, there were a lot of good ideas, and they're being polished off. The inaugural Hack Jersey Challenge was a test case for future competitions. The city of Johannesburg has set aside a budget of 5 million rand for the next challenge, but it hopes to also garner funding from the private sector to co-fund particular aspects of the next challenge. Other news making headlines this week, inland terminal rapid rail master plans are urged for new coal basins and the South African steel industry faces a global oversupply. A new logistical concept involving the overland conveying of coal to inland terminals for processing prior to rapid railing to ocean terminals is being proposed for new coal basins. The coal mining industry is still operating in the way not much different from what it was hundreds of years ago. Our concept is to streamline from the mining to the export of uh, coal mining process and uh, we include in this not just the mining or the uh, railing or the exporting of the coal but we consider that we can combine all these operations in a large coal producing plant. A global oversupply of steel, compounded by shrinking demand and subsidized steel imports, especially from China, are some of the factors that have contributed to the industry's decline over the past three years. I think the current state of the, the steel industry is quite uh, difficult at the moment. Uh, we've had one of our larger mills uh, go into business rescue, that's Everest Highfelt Steel. And we have our larger steel producer, ArcelorMittal South Africa, uh, reduce their capacity. That's primarily due to a reduction in demand um, in the country um, and of course we have a very large proportion of imports coming in uh, primarily due to overcapacity uh, in China. So our industry is currently experiencing difficult times and um, as you can see from the results of various companies um, they are not uh, producing uh, profits. Uh, but we're hoping that we, we can improve the situation and we can act and, uh, and move forward. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.